Hey my December daily friends, Ashley Anderson here. Today I'm going to show you this fun little introduction page, I guess is what I'm calling it, that I created for my December daily album. So I seen this idea from a content creator, her name is Tracy Reed. She actually created this last year for her album and I thought it was so stinking cute so I knew I had to recreate it with my, um, using my own like pattern papers that I love. Um, but she actually has a blog post talking about it and she offers the download for it. So the white cardstock, it's by the ruler on the bottom there, it's got the triangles already cut out. She offers that as a file that you can download and so what I did is I use my Cricut to cut it out. Now if you don't have a cutting machine, I recommend like a craft knife. A knife. <laughs> I don't know what a knife is, but I know what a knife is. So using a craft knife to sit down and slowly cut those triangles out. Might be a little tedious, but definitely worth it because you guys, this turned out so stinking cute. But anyways, um, use the file, cut it out, and then here I was going through, I had chosen some different pattern papers that I got from Allie Edwards, I have some from Heidi Swap. Um, Tracy Reed actually offers some digital kits that you can buy and she had some pattern papers there so I just printed those out on cardstock and used those as well. So I chose my pattern papers and then I started to cut out the triangles like I traced it using the outline and then I would cut them out a little bit bigger than what I had traced that way I had room on the back to glue everything down. Now initially I started using um, let me get it out here. It is Tombow uh, Multi Liquid Glue. And I, I really like this stuff. This was my first time using it. One tip has a, like a pin tip or a chiseled, or not a chiseled, like a pointy tip on it. So you could get like really good precision. And then the other tip of this glue stuff um, has a chiseled tip so you can smear out the glue. So I thought that was pretty cool. But... I ended up just taking some tape and started taping the triangles that I had cut out of the pattern paper onto the back of it because that was so much faster. And then what I will do, um, you guys won't see it just yet, but here soon you'll see that I left one, two, three, four spots open and this is where I will stick some photos in here during December. Once I get my photos in there, I will take the pattern paper like the whole little setup that I have, and I will glue it to a sheet of white cardstock. And then that way you don't see all the different cutouts on the back of it. And if you wanted to, like say this was day one and on the back of it you wanted to glue um, something together on it for day two, you could totally do that. Now I am, this is like a part of me creating foundation pages for my December daily album. And once I get those pages completed, I will have a video up showing you guys the different pages that I make. So make sure you subscribe so you guys can uh, be up to date on my pages. I have some really fun things that I created. I can't wait to show you guys. I have this like really cute tag page, um, just some fun stuff and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Listen, I recently learned about December Daily. I didn't even know this was a thing. And y'all, I'm not kidding when I tell you I have gone down the rabbit hole that is December daily. Like I'm deep in this rabbit hole. <laughs> I have, um, like, I'm so excited for it though. I love this idea of being able to document all the memories and stories and things of the month of December. Just has me so excited. The love I live, the dream I know. This Christmas, I only want to be close to you. Honestly, I think the hardest part about creating this was coming up with enough pattern paper. So I had enough paper, like with different patterns on it, but most of it I've already had like accounted for in my head. Like I wanted to create something with this page and I wanted to use this pattern paper for something else. So I'm really thankful for all of the people who, like all of the content creators who create digital kits because that helped me tremendously with being able to have enough pattern paper. Like I said, like Tracy Reed has a digital kit. Allie Edwards has digital stuff. Heidi Swap. I mean, there's so many. You can get on um, Etsy. I'm sure that there's tons of stuff on Etsy that you can get. And then just download the patterns that you want. And then um, I print them out on white cardstock. But uh, yeah, I'm beyond thankful for... So if you're like a content creator, shout out to you because 
I've tried to create stuff like this on my own and it's very, te very tedious. It's kind of complicated and I just, I'm thankful for y'all. I'm thankful for everybody who creates the content that we can purchase and be able to use at home. So my tip to you, if you go to create this design is make sure you have enough pattern paper and then also invest in some digital kits. Most digital kits aren't very expensive. I think the most I've ever paid for one um, has been like 15 bucks. So they're not super expensive and you can reuse those over and over and over again. So that's really, really awesome. So Allie Edwards had an advent calendar that I got and I went ahead and opened it all up because I couldn't help it. One of the days in there has these really cute white glitter Christmas trays and I thought that this would look perfect over that solid red cardstock. I think in this video I only added one Christmas tea one Christmas tree to the top but I I did end up going back and I added a smaller tree to the bottom you guys can see it in the photo if you follow me over on Instagram I did post a picture of this photo and you can also see it in the intro of this video it's just another another small white glitter tree and I thought it just really popped and then that got me thinking like what other embellishments can I add so once December gets here once I add in my photos I may create some more fun little embellishments to add or just like maybe some stickers or some puffy stickers or something like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So make sure you are subscribed though so you guys can see my foundation pages that I'm creating and then also keep up with, with the fun December daily stuff. I cannot wait to actually dive into this. Like I'm ready to have all my foundation pages completed and I'm ready to start documenting all the fun memories of December and I hope you are as excited as I am because this this just has me like stoked you guys I didn't I, I mean I can't believe I never heard about December Taylor until this year but I am definitely glad that I did all my reasoning have disappeared I want to bury the hatchet and find the way back to our home our Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.